So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get rid of credit card debt fast. So stay tuned. Hello fellow wealth builders and welcome back to the True Financials channel. As always, my name is Dennis and on this show, we love to talk about personal finance, investing and retirement to help build your wealth. So definitely consider subscribing today if you are new here and do not forget to hit that little bell icon to get notifications when new videos and live streams go up. All right, so I wanted to talk about how to get rid of credit card debt fast. Um, and I know a lot of people do ask me questions on consolidating debt. Now I do have a video, uh, I'll link right up here that you can check out after this video talking about consolidating dating your debt. Uh, now keep in mind that that is one of my older videos. So, uh, I do apologize for the, uh, lack of enthusiasm in comparison to some of my newer videos. Uh, it was, as I mentioned, one of my very first ones that I produced. So definitely check that out if you have some questions. I think it'll answer some of those for you when it comes to consolidating debt. So the first thing to do when it comes to trying to get rid of this credit card debt fast is to cut up the credit cards. Now I know this sounds kind of crazy because it seems really far-fetched on what you should be doing, but cutting up those credit cards are going, are going to cut away the temptations of actually spending that money. Now I know a lot of people all of a sudden say, well, hey, what happens if an emergency comes? Well, I got something planned for you as well. So the second thing when it comes to uh, getting rid of credit card debt fast is actually only spending cash that you actually have in the bank versus obviously using those cards. So if you have your cards cut up, you have no way of spending any extra money. You have to utilize what you have in cash. So that is going to really uh, hone in on the skills of actually being able to pay attention to where your money is going uh, versus actually just putting it on a card and paying for it later. So the next item to do, as I mentioned, is going to be actually setting up an emergency fund. And this is going to help you out when it comes to anything that happens out of the ordinary to be able to pay for it. Now, if you're not too familiar on how much to save for, when it comes to an emergency fund versus paying debt off, I will go ahead and link a video up here for you that you can check out uh, when, it uh, when it comes to talking about how much to have an emergency fund versus actually paying off debt. And I think that'll also answer some of the, uh, those questions there for you. So uh, making an emergency fund is going to be critical when it comes to paying off your debts uh, on your credit cards because what ends up happening is a lot of times people use credit cards as a crutch when something bad happens, where when you actually have money set aside, that emergency fund will cover that crutch that you were expecting to use with your credit card when you actually just have the cash for it. So emergency funds need to be used for only strictly emergencies. So it can't be for buying some new clothes or for going out you know, uh, with the family because everyone else is going. An emergency fund is uh, set aside for actual emergencies. So if your car breaks down or if you need to go to a place like an urgent care, you know, those are gonna be emergencies versus you know, things that we kind of think in our head are actual emergencies when they're truly not. All right, so next up is going to be setting up a budget. Now I know the B word is a very dangerous word to use when it comes to trying to get out of debt, but I promise you it is one of the best things that you can do when it comes to actually knowing where your finances are going because uh, I believe that uh, most people that use credit cards don't really pay attention to where their money is truly going. If you actually look at your statements on how much you spent on different categories, you most likely will be blown away where when you have a budget, you're kind of forcing yourself to say, hey, this is where my money is going and this is where it needs to be. Now, if you're not too familiar on how to set up budgets, I do have plenty of videos here on my channel that will help you out with that. So definitely check any of those out after this video. So now when it comes to the true essence of paying off these credit cards fast, because all the items that I listed prior to this is all kind of encompassing the path that you want to be taking when it comes to paying off credit cards. And that is paying off your credit cards smallest to largest. Now this is called the debt snowball effect, uh, where you're paying the smallest uh, amount first off so that way you can build momentum and be able to attack the next debt and so on and so forth. Now there are other ways to do it. You can do the debt avalanche where you're paying the interest rate first, uh, or the highest interest rate first uh, versus the uh, smallest balance. But I truly believe that paying off credit cards in a really fast way is all behavior based and not numbers based. Because if it was all numbers based, we wouldn't be putting ourselves into these credit card debts that we get ourselves into. So making sure that we be uh, that we modify our behaviors by attacking the smallest debts and building up momentum versus just attacking the highest interest rate. Because it's not necessarily the interest that's really getting to us personally. It is the actual uh, process to get rid of that debt. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I believe that credit cards are toxic in the sense of being able to build wealth. Now, I know there's other people that will disagree and have a different viewpoint when it comes to credit cards, but if you are watching this video, obviously you were very interested in wanting to see how to get out of debt in a very fast way from credit cards. And I truly believe that following that path, as I mentioned, is going to be the best method for you uh, because those interest rates are very killer when it comes to being able to save money and have uh, wealth being built uh, when all your money is going to the uh, banks and instead uh, 
uh, instead of your actual wallet. So as always, leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you have any additional tips to add to this. I love uh, when we share ideas so that way we can help others when it comes to their personal finances. Now, if you have any personal questions that maybe you don't feel comfortable asking in the comment section, you're more than welcome to email me at truefinancials at gmail.com. I'll, uh, I'll be trying to help respond to any of those questions so that way we can help you get out of debt or you can leave them in that comment section down below. I will always be there to help answer those questions for you. Uh, do not forget to hit that like button on this video. It definitely helps me out. And then do not forget to share this out with one additional friend. And then thank you so much, fellow wealth builders, for watching. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. All right, so if you made it to the end of this video here today, I have two more for you to binge watch. This top one right up here is going to be one of my most recent releases. And this one right here is going to be one that YouTube recommends for you if you would like to continue watching.